Check this view, we are so fortunate. In this episode, we're actually going to be talking about the floor system for the tiny house, so let's get into it. We are moving at lightning speed. It's uh, crazy how fast we're moving, which is amazing. So what I wanted to show you once again is how awesome it is to add blocking to everything. These blocking right here are not required by the engineer, although this is actually my mistake. I thought it was required by the engineer because we use that kind of blocking everywhere. So I figured why not here? But anyway, just check the plans and they're not needed. But the ones we really, really like are these ones going through the center. And they add such a nice stiffness to our workplace. So you can actually step on the joists, the act as a system. And uh, finally, we actually ended up ram setting some uh, wood so that we could continue this uh, blocking all the way through onto the cantilever. <laughs> One thing I really wanted to show you real quick is these hold downs. Uh, basically what we're doing is this hold down needs to go all the way to the second story and uh, connect to the walls above. Uh, but as you can see, we are kind of like pampering it all the way through. So basically what we're doing is we nailed it. Actually, we screwed it. We drilled the hole and then we assemble a little bit. We put the top plate, we drill, we drill the hole, we pushed it up. And now we're putting the soft floor and then we're pushing it up. In my opinion, that's making our lives way easier and it is also helping us not forget to put it in at the end of the day. We have a new kind of assembly that we haven't done so far and uh, as you can see here the eye joists they actually sit on the wall and then we add a ring board one and a quarter on the outside and a ring board one and a quarter as blocking. In reality this makes our life significantly easier because we don't have to be dealing with Simpson connectors like using the right nail and all that stuff so we like this. <laughs>
This is probably the most complex thing about this entire episode and it's related to this uh, steel beam. This steel beam is not connected to anything, it's not welded, it's just sitting on top of one of the walls. And uh, so let me show you first. So over there you can see the L bracket. That L bracket is going to be connecting to a wall on that other side of the house and that's going to be forming the, um, the balcony. Another thing is, notice how we put these straps. This is basically how this steel beam is, is being held in place. Those straps prevent it from moving on that direction. And then, let me get out of the way. Whoa. You see this uh, connector right here? This connector is holding the uh, cantilever beam. And so that way, on one side it is being held by the straps from moving on this direction and then this big heavy uh, LVL beam that's going to be holding the cantilever is preventing the uh, steel from going that way so that's how it is held in place. One final detail I wanted to show you is I don't know if you can tell there's a gap underneath the steel and that is on purpose actually we have some shims in there uh, and that is coming from the engineers uh, drawings so we know from the beginning that the height of the white flange beam is not 11 and 7 eighths, which is the typical size of most of the number members we're using. And so we're shimming it to size so that everything is perfectly flat and when we put those on floor, uh, everything matches correctly. Floor, but we just needed to finish the waterproofing so what I did here was a combination of zip tape for the larger areas and prosocco on the hard to reach corners. Now the reason we wanted to do this from up here is because if you look down the next um, um, solid ground is like 20 feet down so we wanted to do this before putting the, the soft floor but we are ready for it now and with that we can finish this episode so thank you so much for watching if you like this video please consider subscribing give us a like and see you on the next one thank you so much bye bye